Hi guys, um, so I've been MIA for about a week and a half, two weeks. I was really sick. I had a very bad sinus infection and I just felt like death for about a week. I'm finally starting to feel better and thought I'd film a get ready with me. So here it goes. I have my foundation and my primer and my moisturizer already on. You can kind of tell I kind of have a little bit of residual stuff in my throat, so... Bear with me. Um, just getting back in the swing of things. Today I wanted to do like a purple eyeshadow look because purple is my favorite color. I'm going to be using the Alta Beauty um, Pretty and Polished collection um, for this look. Alrighty, let's get started. I'll put some eye primer on. I'm going to be using the Alta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer in Satin Blush. Um, this is alright. I've used it a couple times and it's really tinted. So it would probably work if you had a darker skin tone a little bit better. I'm very fair. So like it makes my eyes kind of look like a pink tint. Um, it's not terrible but like I said it'd probably work a little bit better. You can kind of see how it gives that like reddish tint to the whole eye and I don't know if I like that. So anyways, that is on. I'm also going to be using my N, my NYX um, palette and I'll be taking this shade. It doesn't actually have a name on it but um i'll take in this shade for all over my lid that's my other brush i gotta clean my brushes super bad right now and just wipe it off find a makeup palette Alrighty. like i said i'm gonna just go in all over my lid with this I actually have two of the same color, one in each one of my NYX palettes, um, but yeah, it's a good color, like works really good with my eyeshadow. Alright, so that's all done, you can kind of see how light it is now, hopefully it's not splotchy, uh oh, makeup on my chest, that's an everyday occurrence, but yeah. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is find my packing brush that I have purple on already. Because purple is one of my favorite colors to use. Then I'm going to wet it because I found that the Alta brushes or colors work a lot better if they're wet. And I'm going to go in with, let me get this on. Shimmer Mauve, actually. Yeah, I'll go in with Shimmer Mauve, which is a purplish color. You can kind of see right there. Focus. Anyways, you can kind of see the tone. My thing does not want to focus, and I'm going to go in on the lid with that. And go in, do the other eye. And I'm just looking over here to the side because I have a nice mirror over here on the side, so. Enjoy all my weird looks while I do my makeup because I do make really weird looks while I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> I think everybody does though. You know, like, you're trying to concentrate and you always make weird looks when you're trying to concentrate. And I should probably do my transition shade. I'm going to go back in with my Morphe 9B palette. I've used this quite a bit, you can tell. If you notice, the pan has quite a bit of fallout in it. That's the only thing I 
don't like about it is the pot pan fella. I'm going to go on in with now boarding, which is like a chocolate brown color right here. And um, put that in my crease. The only thing I will say is that they are very pigmented on this palette. I really like it. And for the price, it was really good. But I always have to go in and take like a clean brush to blend out the edges because it makes harsh lines. Alright, that looks a little bit better. You can see it's in there, but it's not super pigmented. So I'll go back in with this and... Uh, Darken it down. There we go. That's a little bit more pigmented. I don't want too much of a transition shade with this particular look because it is going to be mostly purple. So I try to keep it more of a neutral transition shade. Wait a minute. That looks like a really harsh line. So let's clean that up. And I'm just using the crown. It's actually a um, blush brush, but I use it to um, blend in my transition shade a little bit on the edges because it makes it a little bit easier. The next color I will be going in with is Shimmer Purple, <clears throat> which is a really dark purple shade. Let me find one of my corner brushes for that. Uh, that should work actually. It's got black on it now. Like I said, I gotta wet all the brushes to get these colors to work because they are um, not as good as I would think they should be, especially being it's a Ulta product. Cause I love their wrath stuff like their wrath stuff is awesome and it does have quite a bit of fallout just a heads up if you do get Ulta uh, eyeshadows and you're gonna hear some banging and stuff it's the kids the doors shutting and stuff they just got back from church so yeah but you know that fallout just brushes away nothing too big um I still haven't put concealer on so that isn't gonna hurt it either um so what have you guys done for preparations of Thanksgiving I know it's coming up in the, like a week and a half we are actually having Thanksgiving at our house this year um I love Thanksgiving. Uh, Halloween's my favorite holiday. Thanksgiving is probably third or fourth. Um, I like Fourth of July and Halloween more. Just because you don't have to impress anybody. You get to have a good time. You know, there's not all that added stress. But, yeah. Apparently... I got a lot of fallout on that eye. That one eye just had a whole bunch of fallout. Alright, so you can see the pigmentation isn't super pigmented. And it looks more purple in real life than it is actually on the screen right now. Um, I'm going to go back in with that shimmer mauve shade and just kind of darken up that front part of my eye. Now, there are probably five or six different purple shades, which is cool because, like I said, purple's one of my favorite colors to wear. And, um, that's cool. I'm totally okay with it. And I just kind of go back and forth until I get a look I like. I'm not doing a super, um, super, um, hard look today because like I said it's just you know simple easy one that I can wear every day if I wanted to and um 
so I went in and did my eyes. I'm going to put um, concealer on and I will be right back just a second. All right, guys, so I went in and I used my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil and perversion. It's seen its better life. It's almost gone. I'm trying to, to take every last little bit of it. I absolutely love it, but, you know, $20 for an eye pencil is expensive. Uh, and then I went in with my MAC Fault Slashes Stream Black. I got this in my Ipsy a couple of months ago. I love this. It's great. It gets in the nice little spots I need it to. So I did that, and I, then I did my eyebrows. Um, I normally don't fill in my eyebrows a whole time because I do have naturally decent-looking eyebrows, so I don't do that. And then I lined my lower and upper lashes both with the Urban Decay eyeliner, and I ended up going back in and putting in a little bit of um, the first two colors I used on my bottom lash line, the mob in the center, or the inner corner and then the purple on the outer and then I decided I didn't want that all the way like that so I added in a black um, which is also from the Pretty in Pink palette it's a shimmer black so um, that I put in the corner and just kind of smoked out the edge of my eye put my eye mascara on just like I said and um, going to set my concealer and do my blush and my contour etc you know, the normal stuff. Um, today I'm going to go in with my Bye Bye Pores Pressed um, Powder from It Cosmetics. And I'm just going to take that um, brush I was using to blend out my eyeshadow and do that underneath my eyes and my nose. I don't really set most of my face, but we'll just do that today. And that powder is so finely milled, it gets everywhere, but I absolutely love that pressed powder. Next, I'm going to go in with my Alta Beauty Flush Brush. It's got a little bit of a gold. It's in Prosecco, pink Prosecco. Sorry, up there. You can't kind of see the shimmer, but it's pink with a goldish shimmer, orange or undertone. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And you'll notice I'm going in with my blush first because... um. I found if I go in with my blush first, I can get it more on my cheek because I have a really round face. And I don't want it to be super over pigmented. And then I'm going to go in with the bronzer with the Hoola Benefit bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. This is by far my favorite bronzer it's very subtle yeah it's pigmented enough to if you want to build it you can um but anyways i go over with that and you know it's not super expensive yeah it's 20 i think 29 dollars for the full size but it's twice the size of this and i've had this for i want to say like two months and I have barely even scratched the surface of this bronzer. So imagine that full size one would last you, I'd say, at least a year. So I believe the 29 bucks is worth it. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see, now that I have my bronzer on, you can still see the blush here, but the bronzer is over here. And it doesn't look super overpowering with the blush and the bronzer. It kind of evens it out. I don't know why I started doing that, but I like it a lot better than the other way. Finally, I'm going to go in with the Wet Wild uh, Highlighting Powder. This is in Blossom Glow. I just got this. I've been using this for, I don't know, maybe like two, three weeks. I got it when Ulta had their buy one, get one for 50% off. It's a very light pink um blood or a highlighter but you can see like a little bit goes a long way and i'm using my highlighting brush from i think it's um lord and no i don't remember who it is but this handle is fantastic i absolutely love this handle got in my ipsy bad yes oh it's a moda pro so Royal in Lancaster, I think. It says r &L. I don't remember who that is. But anyways, absolutely love it. A little bit of highlighter up here in my brow bone. Because I still can use it. 
And like I said, you just put a little bit on your cheeks and you can absolutely see that glow. It is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Mm, and for my concealer, I use the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I got it in my empty bag in October. And this sample size is a tenth of the normal size. The normal size is like 20... 24 25 something like that dollars and this sample size I don't feel is big enough to let me I feel like I'm scraping bottom and I've only used it like four times to let me figure out if I like it or not that's what I'm basically saying however that being said I don't feel that it's a bad product I just don't know if I like it I'm lining my lips with the gel lip liner from a navel. Never petal down from Wet n Wild. It's a very pink color. I'm just going all over my lip with that. And then you can see it's like a pinky color. I'm going to go in with my strawberry chapstick because liner dries out my lip. Just add a little bit of that on there. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do any lip color, any of that. Um, just a light uh, lip pencil. And that is the finished look, guys. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Make sure your notification bell is on. And subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do it once a week. But, you know, Mother Nature had other plans and made me sick to my stomach and had a sinus infection. So, that didn't happen. If you have any ideas for eye looks that you want me to try out, leave those down below in the comment sections. I do read all of the comments. And I will respond back to the majority of them if I have time. So I appreciate you guys stopping in and you guys have a great day. Thanks guys. Bye.